The base of any crochet project is a chain stitch. So that's what we're gonna start with today. First, you're gonna need to make a slip knot. If you need help making a slip knot, just go to the video that's linked in the description box below. Once you have your slip knot, go ahead and pick up your hook. You're gonna put your hook into your slip knot loop and then we're gonna tighten it just a little bit. We want it just kissing your hook, but not tight. So you should be able to slide it really easily. Now we're going to begin our chain stitch. So the chain stitch begins with a yarn over or a YO as it's abbreviated. This can be a bit confusing because your hook is actually going to go under while your yarn comes over. It's really important to get this directionality right so that your stitches look correct. So make a yarn over. Your yarn comes up and over the hook. Now our next goal is to get this first stitch, the slip knot, up, over, and off of our hook so that all we're left with is where we yarned over. This can be really tricky on the first stitch. What I like to do is grab onto my slip knot so I can pull it down, then I'm able to hook and pull through. You might find it a lot easier to actually pinch that first stitch with your fingernails and pull it up and over. Either way is okay for right now because we're just practicing. We have one chain stitch made, so let's do that again. We're gonna do a yarn over. So the yarn comes up and over the hook. Then we're gonna let that yarn over slide in so that we can lift this one up over and off. You wanna keep these chain stitches super, super loose. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Keep practicing your chain stitch until you can make them nice and loose and even. Let's look at our chain here. We're looking for something that looks like chain links or little V's, and we can actually count each of these. So the slip knot here does not count, but this one here is one is our first chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This one here on the hook does not count. So I have. 10 chains. Once you finish your chains, you are ready to move on to row number one of your pattern.